journey in family caregiving is frequently compared to the journey of the labyrinth. Now, not all caregiving situations end with the death of someone, but it is true that often that is the truth. And so we as the family caregiver walk with our loved one through all its twists and its turns until finally we get to the center of that labyrinth. And in those cases, we are blessed to take their hand and place it into the hand of the divine. They are at peace. They have transitioned. We, on the other hand, our journey is not complete. Our caregiving journey is not complete. Because it's at that moment that we need to turn, perhaps with a final look and kiss goodbye, and walk out of that labyrinth. But we need to give to ourselves the very same care that we gave to our care recipient. And as we walk, I urge you again and again, as in all difficult situations, don't get stuck in why. Why did this happen? Why didn't we do this? Why, why, why? Why is the past tense and you can't do anything about the past tense? What you can do is deal with the present and change the question from why to what? What can I learn? What did I learn? And what am I going to do now in my life as I move forward? That's the journey of grief. But we wouldn't know grief if we hadn't first known love. So it is indeed from love to grief and then to surrender, gratitude, and once again, the gift of love. I am Greg Johnson with my view from the heights.